Don't worry, I checked. That is a dog. Ten oh seven. Woo. Woo. I say woo. So some one oh six. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hebrew. Hallelujah. That's two separate words. Now the opposite is showing the way. W H R are the words of the name of God. Apparently there's one this one legend about David being captured by a giant wanting to know what the name of God is. This legend does realize. God told Moses. And Moses wrote it down. It ain't a secret. <laughs> Unless they're implying that isn't the true true name of God or something. I don't know. Give it give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. <coughs> Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord? Or fully declare his praise. Blessed are those who act justly, who always do what is right. Remember me, Lord. When you show favor to your people, come to my aid when you save them, that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance and give in, in giving praise we have sinned even as our ancestors did <coughs> we have done wrong and acted wickedly when our ancestors were in Egypt they gave no thought to your miracles they did not remember your many kindnesses, and they rebelled by the Red Sea, no, by the sea, the Red Sea, or the Hebrew Seeds of Reeds, also in verses 9 and 22. So when you hear Red Sea, think Sea of Reeds. <laughs> now there is some sort of debate if that's actually the Red Sea or some like lake or something or somewhere else. But does that really matter? Getting water split in half is a miracle, a pretty awesome miracle into itself. Yet he saved them for his namesake to make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea and dried it up. He led them through the depths. As though a desert, as through a desert, the depths, they might actually have been the real Red Sea, but they just called the Sea of Reeds. Or one of the offshoot seas. Because there's two offshoot sea golf things off the Red Sea for. For some ever reason, anyway. He saved them from the hand of the foe. From the hand of the enemy, he redeemed them. The waters covered their adversaries. Not one of them survived. Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. But soon they forgot what he had done. And they did not wait for his plan to unfold. In the desert they gave 
into their craving. They didn't trust God. They didn't trust Him to give them food. In the wilderness, they put God to the test. Like, will He? Will He? If He. So He gave them what they asked for, but sent a wasting disease among them. In the camp, he, they grew envious of Moses and Aaron, <coughs> who was consecrated to the Lord. The earth, the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan. Dathan? Dathan. Well, that's the name I'm calling him. D-A-T-H-A-N. It burned the company of Abiram. A B I R A M. Fire blazed among their followers. A flame consumed the wicked. Hebro, H O R E B, made a calf. No, at Hebro, yeah. They made a calf and worshipped an idol cast from metal. <coughs> they exchanged their good. Glorious God for an image of a bowl. Who which eats grass like glorious almighty God or cow. The creator of the universe or cow. <coughs> this is just obviously pointing out how we Ridiculous the idea that, that idols are. Don't put too much into idols. Actually, don't put anything into idols. This, like, it's stupid. It's basically what it's saying. They forgot the God who saved them, who had done great things in Egypt. Miracles in the land of Ham, <coughs> and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Deeds, see. Huh, I didn't know Zeus was Jewish. Huh, cool. So he said he would destroy them. Had not Moses, his chosen one, stood at in the Breach, breach before him to keep his wrath from destroying them. So that last part was a joke. Because <laughs> rhyme. Anyway, then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his promise. They grumbled in their tents and did not obey the Lord, so he swore to them with uplifted hand that they would that he would make them fall in the wilderness, make their descendants fall among the nations, and scatter them throughout the land. They yoked themselves to the Bell of Peor, P-E-O-R, and ate sacrifices offered to lifeless gods. Because there's nothing there. They're just wooden statues or metal statues. There's nothing there. They're nothing. They're literally nothing. When they were worshipping the stars, they were just literally worshipping big balls of gas out in space. Worshipping the planets, worshipping rocks or other big balls of glass, gas that weren't glowing. There's nothing, there's nothing there. There's some Christians that put too much meaning into these things. They're nothing, nothing at all, nothing. Nothing behind the idea of worshipping them. Yeah, the idea. But the thing itself 
is just nothing. Yeah. They arouse the uh, anger, the Lord's anger, by their wicked deeds, and pledge, pledge, and a pledge broke, and a plague uh, broke out among them. But Phineas, what in the world have I been saying that it's Pine has for so long? Ho. Oh stood up and intervened and I was like, yes, I watched Vinita for her, I don't know. And the plague was checked. Chuck, the check. Yeah, this was credited to him as righteousness for endless generations to come <coughs> by the waters of Mirabah M E R I B A H. They agreed. They angered the Lord. And trouble came to Moses because of them. For they rebelled against the Spirit of God. And rash words came from Moses' lips. Or against his spirit, slash. And a rush. And rash words came from his lips. It made him mad, and he said some things he probably shouldn't have. Happens to us. Mad. They did not destroy the peoples, as the Lord had commanded them. But they mingled with the nations, and adopted their customs. They worshipped their idols, which became a snare to them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to false gods. Yeah, that's messed up. The she they shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to idols to the idols of Canaan. Why did they do this? Well, because the most valuable thing in the world is a human that hasn't lived their life yet. So, if you really want something really, really bad, you like, just do that. Yeah. Messed up, I know. And the land was desolated. No, dis... Dis... Desecrated by their blood. <laughs> they defiled themselves by what they did. By their deeds, they prostituted themselves, therefore the Lord was angry with his people, and bore his inheritance. He gave them into the hands of the nations, and their foes ruled over them, their enemies oppressed them, <coughs> and subjugated them to their power. Many times he delivered them. But where but they were bent on rebellion and they wasted away in their sin. Yet he took note of their distress when he heard their city no, but heard their cry, heard their city. What am I trying to read? Doesn't really make sense. For their sake, he remembered the, his covenant, and out of his great love, he relented. He caused all who had, caused all who held them captive to show them mercy. Save us, Lord our God. And gather us from the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name, and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. Which means, I agree. 
but so be it. Anyone who says a woman has no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, praise the Lord.